Hello guys, welcome to SR Technologies. Today we are going to discuss PySpark continuation. In the previous videos, I have explained about how to create a Databricks Community Edition as well as how to create a CSV file and how to read the data through PySpark. Whenever I have to display those, all those three details I have explained as part of the last two videos. Today, we are going to discuss further on that. So, if you have not watched the series, this series, you can go here. There is a Databricks playlist, PySpark. You can go to here and you can watch further videos. These two videos, you can complete it and continue with this. So, let's go ahead and read the CSV file, which I have explained in the previous previous video you can go through that then now you will be able to understand now i have read this and as well as i'm 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 displaying the data what are the things which is available as part of that data frame okay here we have a 12 rows which is available now here what i'm doing i'm just creating a temporary view temporary view here i'm creating a temporary view consider as a table as part of the thing now how can you select the data how can you select the data now I'm, if you wanted to select the data in SQL, very simple. Okay, select star from customers. Okay, what is the table which I have given? Here I have dip, I have mentioned that table name as customers. Okay, here also I have mentioned as a data frame. I have created a data frame by reading the CSV file. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm comparing the SQL, how you can use the SQL and at the same time, same thing, how you can rewrite in the data, data, data frame data frame way, how you can write it up. So simplest way is select star from customer, select star from customers. If you wanted to write it up inside SQL, just you can use the magic command percentage SQL and you can write the SQL here, select star from customer. Now, what, what you can see here, you can see the data output. Okay, all the rows, everything which is coming. So here I'm using the star, star means all the columns and without having any filter condition, so it is going to print entire data. Now here you have done in SQL way. This is regularly who know, whoever knows SQL, they can able to do that. How can I do that in PySpark? So the syntax is very simple. Okay, you have to use the DF. DF is nothing but a data frame which you have created. Okay, this is the data frame which you have created DF. And once you created that DF, now here there is a method, nothing but a function which is available, select. Within that select, you have to use the double quotes. Okay, within the double quotes, you have to use the star. Star means all columns, all columns. Can we go ahead and execute? So here you can see that is available. So same thing, whatever you have done in SQL, here, same thing, I'm using the data frame way, data frame way. So instead of writing in SQL, plain SQL, I'm going ahead and I'm writing into data frame way. So I'm using the select here and I'm displaying the data. Now you have selected all the columns here, select star from all the columns. Now here also you have done that. But what about if I wanted to have a only few columns? How can I do that? Here if you observe customer ID, customer name. In SQL way, very simple, customer ID comma, customer name, which you can mention, and then you can execute it. You can execute it. Now you can see the selection instead of six columns, you can see here only two columns which is displaying because you have selected only two columns. Now same thing if I wanted to do it in the data frame way. So here previously what you have done df df dot select after that open bracket within that double quotes you have given star. Now instead of giving star what you have to give you have to mention the specified columns which you wanted which you wanted. Here you can do that customer id comma customer name customer name this column should be should be mentioned within the double quotes within the double quotes let's go ahead and execute it now you can see here this one and this one both are working in a same way same way now you wanted to count the number of number of records which are available as part of the customers how you can do that by simply count of star by simply you can use the count of star so you can run this then you will be able to understand it then you will be able to understand you here you can see 12 here you can see 12 and at the same time now you wanted to do that as part of the data frame way so here you have to import the functions you have to import the functions this module you have to import it so once you import these functions okay i have used entire functions 
and importing every function here. So here, while you are doing right, simply df dot select, and then you are using the count function. Within that, what you are doing, you are mentioning that within double quotes, and you are selecting all columns, which means it is going to it is going to count count entire table data. Now you can see here twelve, and here also twelve. Now you wanted to do it based on the group by. Suppose I wanted to identify based on the country how many how many how many records are present. For example, let's understand here data. Let me go to here top. India, India is present twice. And if you see here, right, remaining countries are present. Remaining countries are present here. You can see India is present four times and rest of the countries are having only one time. Now you wanted to identify in India, okay, in India, okay, how many times India is present here? Okay, just we wanted to identify the count, count of country, count of country. So here simply what you can do, simply what you can do, here you can use the, here you can use the group by, group by. If you wanted to do that, simply select country, comma, count of stuff from customers, group by country. This is the thing which you are going to use it. So simply you can run it up that. So this is the SQL way which you can do it. But what about this particular thing, sir? How can I use that as part of the as part of the PySpark? Very simple. DF dot group by within double. You have to open that column name. Okay, you have to open the column name. It is going to take parameters. So here you have to provide the you have to provide the country. After that, you have to use the method is nothing but a count method you have to use it automatically it is going to give you the count now you can see here now you can see here whatever the output which you are writing right same equal into syntax data frame way how you can write it up see here you can see germany one france and india you can see four here also india four this is the way you can do that now here you wanted to order the data as well order the data as well how can you order the data either you can use the order you can use the order by clause in Order by clause in where? Order by clause in SQL. So simply you can run it up here. Simply you can see here DESC means it is going to give you the highest to lowest. Here we are ordering based on the customer ID column. So if you don't give any DESC, automatically it is going to take. It is going to take. What it is going to take? It is going to take the. It is going to take the ascending order, smallest to largest. Now you can see, you can observe. At the same time, now you can see here, okay, if you wanted to do it ascending order, just you can mention as true. You can mention as true. Okay, df dot order by within brackets, you have to mention the column name as well as whether it's ascending is true or false. If it is a true means, automatically it is going to give you the smallest to largest. Now you can see it is giving smallest to largest. Now if you wanted to do it, descending order just you can mention as false you can mention as false automatically what it is going to happen it is going to give you largest to smallest largest to smallest it is going to give you this is the way it is going to work now here you can see now you wanted to limit the data now you wanted to get only limited set of records like first 10 records now you can use the limit as part of the sql now, at the same time, you wanted to do it with the data frame way. So here you can use that df dot limit. So here I'm giving the after df limit within brackets how many how many records you want. You can mention that. You can mention that. Just you can use this and you can do that. So you can get that 10 rows, 10 rows. This is the way you have to deal with it. So that's it for the day. And I'm going to continue with it further series further videos which we are going to discuss in detail about the sql how sql and equal into how we can write it in a data frame way so in further classes i'm going to explain architecture and other things for time being just focus on focus on how it is using how it is working how the syntaxes are there okay if you have any doubts anything please do drop a comment so that i'll i'll respond to you Thank you, guys.